This is a fluid pour and enhancement with commentary throughout the video. You don't want to miss. This is the fluid pour and enhancement and I absolutely love it. Thanks for joining me here today. My name is Soraya. If you're new, please subscribe. Keep watching to the end to see how I created this. I mix my paint with two parts Floetrol to one part paint. Sometimes I add a teaspoon to the mix just depending on how thick it is. You want it to flow. When I pour the paint, I really have an idea of where I want the painting to go. So I kind of put the paint, even though it looks like it's willy-nilly, I do have a plan and I think it works best that way. In this section, when I'm blowing the paint, um, it, I just spit it up for sake of time, but really, um, I didn't cut anything out. It's exactly how I did it in real time. Sometimes I end up putting a bit too much paint and I would always rather have more paint than not enough. Um, so there was a lot of blowing to do with this uh, to get it just right. You don't want it to be too thick or it takes forever to dry. Here it is up close. It is very beautiful. It has so many lovely cells. Look at that. I think I'm going to let this dry and I am going to enhance it. I think it's going to need some enhancing. I can see something beautiful after the enhancement because it already has a beautiful base here. It's very light overall but it's got a beautiful overall look to it. So yes, I'm gonna let it dry and um, I will see you soon. Okay, and here's the painting all dried up. I think it turned out really beautiful. Now there is all a little bit of cracking right here. I guess it was from the water, just a little bit too much water, but I can deal with that. There's some beautiful uh, waves that I can see here and here and kind of a plateau area, kind of right about here and then kind of the water. I see this as a big splash uh, coming down from there. And I think I've got lots of uh, great areas to work here. So I'm just going to go ahead and start. My colors uh, are Amsterdam Titanium White and uh, Studio Acrylics Payne's Grey Pebio and Amsterdam's Sky Blue Light. I'm going to try and work with these and uh, maybe go and change Maybe I'll change uh, color from my mind along for the colors along the way, but for now I'll use these ones here. So here we go. I'm probably going to just put on music for you to listen to rather than hear me scratch away over here. <laughs> Enjoy the music.
When I start painting, um, and you'll see this throughout the video, I really look for lines that will work for the painting that I have in mind. This painting took a number of days to complete and I edited the video so again for time wise uh, it does take me a while to get it just right and I love the way this boat turned out.
oftentimes uh, when I paint, I end up changing a lot of uh, the composition. It just uh, works much better and uh, the painting itself tells me that it needs that change. I love the feeling of the power in this painting. It's uh, really a lot of fun to do. finished painting. I am very happy with it. I really love it. I love the abstracted look of these kind of waves and then the more realistic kind of water and kind of real boat, not really. It's a little bit of both, but I like this look here. It's just beautiful. I think it looks great. Lots of detail and I added the highlights here you can see it better on the side. And here's that gold, it just shines depending on where you're standing. There's a lot of interest and I just love it. And if you click on the link you see now, you will see a lot more of my enhanced pores and fluid pores. You're going to love watching these videos.